friends, it's Miss Allison from the Greater Valley YMCA. How are you? Today, we are going to talk about chefs. That's a job people have where they cook or they bake. And I have a poster that I have here that I made. This is a picture of a chef and they wear a white coat and a white poofy hat. A chef cooks or bakes at their job. A chef may work at a restaurant and make your food if you order. A chef may have gone to special school to learn how to cook for their job. A chef wears special clothes and a hat to keep their hair from getting in food that they make and that they cook. So that's why they wear the poofy hat, although it looks really cool. So what they do is they use tools to prepare the food. So today I have some tools here and we're gonna talk about them. These are tools that a chef might use. So we have here, does anybody know what this is called? This is a whisk. You would mix with it, okay? And this is a little scoop. And I have a serving fork. I have a part spoon, kind of part spatula. I have a spreader. And I have a masher. And that's what you would mash potatoes or something with. So chefs use all kinds of tools like that. And today we are going to use some of these tools to paint with and see what kind of pictures we can make using these chef tools or kitchen tools, utensils, as our paintbrushes. And here comes Harley, my cat. She wants to see what we're doing. So she's probably going to come over. So I have some yellow paint, you'll need some paint, any color you want. And I have some blue paint, again, any color you want. I put it on a paper plate, and you're obviously gonna need some paper too. I put it on a paper plate so it would be easy to use. So I'm gonna try first with the fork here, and I'm gonna dip it in some yellow See what we can make with that if we tap it on our paper. It's an interesting kind of texture that it makes. Okay, we can try our spatula spoon, or we could even try the tip. You could dot along with the tip, make little lines, or you can use the back so you could use whatever kitchen tools your mom has in your kitchen. So with this, you could use the back side and make a circle like that, or you can use the top side and use the outline of a circle. So that would look like that. So there's two different ways that you can even use some of the tools. So I think this one will be cool. So I think it'll make zigzags. Let's give this a shot. You have to mix it around so it gets paint. Whoops, I dripped on the towel. On all the bottom. Oh, that is pretty cool. It kinda looks like a snake. It zigzags along. So you could even mix your colors if you wanted to, and see what happens if you keep stamping even after the paint wears off. The lines get thinner as it wears off and thicker when the paint is fresh. So, we have another paper because we didn't get to try everything. The spreader, you can either spread the paint, like you would spread peanut butter, or you can use the side and make lines. Or you could use your whisk. You could dip the top in the paint and then touch your paper and make X's 
on your paper, or you can use it on the sides and make lines on your paper. However you feel like you're expressing yourself with whatever kitchen utensils you can find in your kitchen. So thank you for joining with me today and exploring painting with kitchen tools.